Well, hello, Taurus. Welcome to Sin the Moon Goddess channel. Today, I'm giving you a reading for November the 8th through the November the 14th, 2021. And we do the weekly reading with the Celtic Cross. Usually it's 10 cards. Sometimes spirit gives us a little more. And we just go with the flow here. Sitting in the moon goddess. Chum. Ooh. Okay. We just need one more. All right, Taurus. If you have not, hit that button over there to the right to subscribe to Sitting the Moon Goddess channel. Can you do so at this time? I truly appreciate it. Thank you, Taurus. All right, Taurus. We have the Six of Swords. You going somewhere? You traveling? Almost every sign had travel, but I think it's because of Thanksgiving coming up. All right. So, all right. Let's go. Let's get it, Taurus. Where we are right now. Hey, we sitting at the justice. We getting everything that belongs to us because we've been that good. Huh, Taurus? <laughs> Your challenges? Mm, the three of pentacles. You're going to have challenges at work. We're going to clarify. Don't get your, your panties up in a bunch. <laughs> okay, Taurus? All right, focus. Mm, happiness. You're focusing... On your happiness. All right, Taurus. That's the way to go. All right. Your recent past. Oh, love, baby. You was all for love. Ooh. All right. Our strengths. Ooh, the Ace of Swords. We have an opportunity in front of us. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go. All right. Wow, Taurus. <laughs> in your future... I see nothing but sex for you, baby. <laughs> We're going to clarify. It could mean something else, but it is my sex card here. All right, Taurus. My approach. Your approach of the week is to let everything go. Just surrender. Just go with the flow, Taurus. Just go with the flow. <laughs> and your advice. Ah, the three of cups. Abundance, baby. Abundance of love. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right. Our hopes and fears. The queen of pentacles of losing money. <laughs> All right. Okay. Our outcome of the week. Mm, we listen to our intuition. That's probably how we're getting money. On tours. Because you listen to your intuition. All right. Okay, the three of pentacles. Work, baby, work. <laughs> oh, wow. Some of you are going gonna to start a business that's going to be a legacy. A leg you're going to leave it a legacy. You're going to leave it for your family. Yes, you have some idea. And they said... It's gonna uh, the make sure the paperwork is up is up to par. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so that opportunity that is gonna make you money and uh, <laughs> the legacy is gonna make you happy. I'm sure. <laughs> the sun, please. Woo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Some of you are going to be asked to marry, and you're going to have to make that decision, okay? But it is going to be a brand new start for you, and this start is going to be beautiful, because you got the sun card, too, so this is going to be very beautiful. Some of you are going to get engaged, or you're going to start dating. If you're single, you're going to start dating. You're going you're gonna to meet someone. And if you're already with someone, you guys are going to take it up a notch. You might move in together or get engaged. And if you're already engaged, you're going to set a date. Okay? The Ace of Swords, please. The 
Ace of Swords. Yeah. It's someone that's going to help you heal. Yeah. They, some of you have been crying over spilled milk. They want that to stop, of course. You're going to travel. You're going to be with someone that's very strong. Wow. And very proud man or woman. Someone who doesn't live close to you, Taurus. And you, you're finding that they're healing you. They're helping you to heal. And this could be a happy family. This could lead to a happy family. This is Virgo, Libra. Um, I think this is Leo, Aries, and air signs. Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Okay. Wow. It, all of a sudden, it made me very calm. Especially after you start talking about your money. All right, the devil. Mm. Didn't have to even get it out good, huh? All right. Yeah, and the sex is, is going to be good, but you're still going to be all up in your head about this relationship if you should go ahead with it or just turn around and go back. <laughs> Okay, they want you to go forward. They be in the spirit, the divine. Okay. They're saying to get your goals in order. They want you to be bold about your goals. Not to be afraid. So when you're writing it, leave the fear alone. There is love for there for you. You're also getting clarity. The love is helping you to see things clearly, very clear. And you're 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 building a stable home. You're getting rid of all the fears that you have, and you're getting abundance of love. Abundance of love. <laughs> the lovers, please. The lovers. The lovers. The lovers. Yeah, your soulmate doesn't live close. You're going to have to travel to them. But he is so handsome. He wants to marry you. He's going to offer you marriage. He knows you're independent, but he also knows you're a nurturer. He knows that you can love him to no end or she. You know, please, no genders, okay? There's love there. And it's also going to be opportunity. Because this is your soulmate that's coming in towards. And if you already with your soulmate, it's just, like I said before, going to go up a notch. Okay? The high priestess, please. Whoa. Okay. Same thing they did to Virgo. You need to pray and meditate. Manifest. And listen to your intuition. Stop thinking about if I'm going to get back what I put in, because you are. And you're going to have to hire help because it's a lot on you, a lot of burdens. You're going to have to pass it on. So don't forget, pray and meditate, manifest, and listen to your intuition. Because they're saying you're nurturing a, a, a good idea that's going to make you money. They want you to get started on it. 
And like I said, some of you, well, everybody is going to move their relationship up a notch. So if you're already married, you're going to feel like you guys just fell in love again. It, you're just going to move it up a notch. Some of you are going to get married. Some of you are going to get engaged. Some of you are going to set a date. Okay? Because you're getting everything you deserve when it comes to love. And you deserve love. The divine said it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah, new beginning. As I told you, you're going to do something that you're very passionate about. They want you to have patience when it comes to that idea because you're still nurturing it. But soon you're going to get vision after you go within. Okay? You will have vision. On what to do next. Some of you are having a little fight with your with your mate, and they saying, "It's just a small fight. Don't take it overboard. Don't go over. Don't go. Don't go overboard with it. You are protected and guided, and it is an opportunity coming your way to it, and it's your wish." All right now, anything else? The toys. All right. They saying keep working on it, on those goals, and one of your goals will be offered to you soon. Money is coming your way, so don't worry. It's coming your way. You're gonna be able to sit back and smell the daisies. I think I said that to you last week. If not to you, to the singles. Yeah, Taurus. So they want you to get rid of the worrying and all up in your head and because it's not doing you any good. Because work is going to be just fine soon. Some of you are passionate about a Virgo and it's saying you're going to have a new start with them. You're going to start healing. Listen to your intuition when it comes to things that, that you're passionate about and people that you're passionate about. They're saying your intuition is talking to you, even about your goals. Here we go again. Intuition. Pray and meditate and listen to your intuition. Especially when it comes to love. They want you to let go of the fear and just let the love take over. Because the divine is there with you. All right. Hey, you got victory. When it comes to love, you have victory. When it comes to, to, to this opportunity, they want you to wait. Yeah. You having difficulty in this new change, they saying. They saying you having disappoint. You've been disappointed with some, some new change that's happening at work. But don't worry. Everything is going to turn into your favor. <laughs> See? Because you're going to be happy. It's going to turn into your favor. Your goals are going that you set are going to start blossoming. You're going to see they're not going to bloom yet, but they're blossoming. And when it comes to love, it's going to heal you. It's going to help you even when it comes to the change that you're going through. It's going to help you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you're going to feel like you're powering within yourself. It's going to give you happiness. And again, it comes to marriage. The divine is in the mix. Okay. 
That's what I have for you, Taurus. So, you know I can't let you go without asking you to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please hit that button right over there to the right. And subscribe to Sin the Moon Goddess. Now, Taurus, I'm letting everybody know next weekend I will be doing lives on the weekends. And I'm going to do different readings. One of the readings I'm going to do are for men only. I'll probably do that next weekend. And uh, I want ideas from you. So if you have an idea, just let me know. Just put it in the comments below. Now, if you subscribe, they'll let you know when that live come out. Okay, when it's upload, when I'm out live, because it's live. Yes. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm sorry, Taurus. <laughs> All right, Taurus. I'm Sin the Moon Goddess. And I'm out. Have a good weekend, Taurus. Bye.